Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be trying out some new drugstore makeup that is available here in Australia. I do these kinds of videos all the time so if you want to go and binge some more after this video, I'll link some in the description box below. If you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. They will also be linked down below. I've got so many new goodies here so let's just get into it. Alright, first up I've got the Rimmel Kind and Free Moisturizing Skin tint foundation. Now I'm a little bit nervous for this because I don't usually get along very well with um, skin tints. Now this is available in 12 shades. I got the fairest. It's called 10 Rose Ivory. So I'm expecting this to have quite a light coverage. I would usually go in with like an anti-redness primer when using lighter coverage um, foundations but I'm not going to today because I want to see like I want to show you the real tint that it gives with like all this. So instead I'm going to use the NYX Marshmallow Primer just to smooth things out a little. Oh my god, this smells so good. Alright, so this is the shade. I think it could work. It's a little, a little deep, but let's go for it, okay? I'm actually going to go in with a brush. This is the buffing brush from OXX at Kmart. Okay, it's actually sitting very nicely. The shade's not too bad either. All right, the coverage looks very natural. Let's compare sides. It's just evened everything out and it has quite a nice glow. The undertone's definitely a little off for me, so I'm going to blend it down my neck a bit. All right, with whatever's left on the palette, I'm just going to dip my sponge into and just lightly tap over my whole face to get rid of any streak marks from the brush. I am really, really impressed with how that is sitting on my skin. I just thought it was going to be bad because skin tints, like all the ones I've tried, I swear, have just been shocking. The coverage is also a lot more than what I was expecting as well. This looks really good. <gasps> I'm so excited. Let's get right up in there. Like, doesn't my skin just look so much more like evened out, it looks glowy, but still natural. Like I can still see some of my scars on my cheek there. Okay, loving so far. Now the Kind and Free range did have a concealer, but I'm just not here for light coverage concealers. So I didn't pick it up, just it didn't sound like I would like it. Instead, I've got the Rimmel Multitasker Concealer and this one claims to be full coverage and I've got the shade 030 Light. So this one has a nice big doe foot applicator, quite yellow toned. All right, that definitely has good coverage. Hmm, what am I thinking? Okay, it's, it's a bit more matte than I was expecting. I was kind of thinking it would be similar to the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. I think it's in between the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer and the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. No, L'Oreal More Than Concealer. I swear the products I love the most, I always forget the names of. <laughs> But it's like an in-between of those two. I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit more, see how it builds up, because I do really like a full coverage under eye. This one does dry. People trying to steal cars while I'm filming. <laughs> As I was saying, this one definitely dries a little bit fast, so you do have to work quick, but I'm liking the coverage so far. I think it looks good. My under eyes look nice. Now I do also have the Rimmel Kind and Free Pressed Powder, but I'm not going to go in with that yet because I've got some cream cheek products here from Ulta 3. I have swatched these and they feel so creamy. So I've got the Sculpt It Your Way palette for contouring and highlighting. And then I've got the Contour Dream Team 
which has contour, highlight, and blush. So with this palette here, I'm going to use this shade and maybe a little bit of this one. So this one's very cool tone, which is good for contouring and sculpting. And then this one does have a bit more warmth to it. So good for bronzing the skin. So this one is the cooler tone shade. And I'm just going to try and focus that in the hollow part of my cheek here to get a sculpted look. And then I'm going to take a different brush with the warmer color and kind of just tap that a little bit higher. Okay, I am so impressed. Let me just blend out the edges with my sponge. First of all, I'm impressed that there's finally a cream palette with cool tones. Because usually when these kinds of products are released, it is just like orange vibes. And I'm over here like, what am I meant to do with that? Well, both these palettes combined, I guess, to have cool and warm tones is just, amazing and then the formula so creamy blended like a dream it's not lifting up any makeup underneath and i've still got a glow it could be from the foundation but like it's still shining through for blush i'm going to use this one here this up the top has a bit of a shimmer in it whereas this one's matte can you call a cream product matte i don't know Okay, I love that. I feel like my cheeks just look very natural. You know, it doesn't look heavy or like thick or cakey at all. Love, love, love. So now I'm going to go in with the powder and just lightly set my face. So I have the shade 10 Fair in this one. Before I set my eyes, I'm just going to re-blend with the Beauty Blender because the concealer likes to settle into my fine lines. So this powder is described as a healthy look, lightweight pressed powder that delivers a fresh and natural looking glow. Okay, I don't know how it's going to be delivering a glow, but I am expecting it to be like quite a lightweight powder, you know, not much coverage. So I'm just going to set under my eyes and my T-zone here. All right, that was nice. No complaints there. It set everything to a nice matte finish, but it doesn't look heavy. Okay, now I'm going to do highlight and I'll use a cream one. Let me just swatch them. Oh my God, they are so cool. So this one's more of a yellow gold and then I guess it's champagne-y. What's this one in the other palette? I think that's quite similar. I might actually go for this one, which is from this palette here. And for this, I'm going to use the bum of my sponge. So I just like to squash it tap it in a little and then lightly tap the cheeks the cheekbones okay i really like that because it's just adding to that natural skin glowy vibe you know not too heavy or stark it's just like look at me so natural for brows i have the nyx the bra glue and i have been freaking dying to get my hands on this for so long Always sold out at Priceline. I end up getting it from like Beauty Bay. But this says it just styles the brows, hairs. It's <laughs> style brow hairs and set into place. Non-sticky transparent formula with a precise spoolie for easy application. Okay, okay. That is actually setting my brows into a position. Like it's putting them in position. What are my words doing today? So you know when you use a brow gel, it usually just like tints them. It doesn't really slick them down. This is slicking them down. Like look here compared to this side. <gasps> Ooh. It definitely feels sticky though. I'm just going to like brush out any excess product. Because it's like... See how it's mixing with the foundation here and it looks a bit funky? Maybe this is the kind of product that needs to be put on before foundation. Because then you can like clean up the edges. It does a good job though. Like look at it just sticking up those brow hairs. And 
and you can kind of like flatten them down with it as well. Oh, my eyes have creased really badly. Look at this. Ooh, I might need to go in with some more powder. I might actually use my sponge instead of a brush and then I can really press the powder into those lines. I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes, so this is something that happens, but I think a bit more powder might stop that. Okay, to finish my brows, I'm just going to use my Maybelline Ultra Slim Pencil and draw them in. Okay, so the gel worked well with the pencil. Like, the brow hair still moved around a bit, but it's sticky enough that I can brush them back up into place. That one's an interesting one. I think I'm going to have to keep playing with it, and like I said, use it before the foundation because I don't like the residue that it put on the skin. But my brows are like slicked in place, which is really nice. All right, I'm quickly going to do some eyeshadow using the Astralis Beach Days palette. I think I'm going to go for something quite neutral and matte because I want to put this e.l.f. liquid glitter shadow over the top. So this is in the shade Pinky Swear. These are such beautiful eyeshadow toppers. They are so glittery. Look at that. Oh. Right, so I've put on some eyeshadow. I tried to make it kind of pinky so that it would match this liquid glitter. But what I like to do with these is get a synthetic brush and just tap off from the brush and then tap that on my eyelid. So it's just like a subtle sparkle. Oh my God, that is so pretty. For my eyes, I've got some products from Kind Cosmetics and this is a new brand in Priceline and I'm not like 100% sure what the go is because it's really cheap. And then when I was looking at it in store the other day, like the mascara that I've got here, for example, like see how tiny it is and like, they have single eyeshadows that are really tiny and they're only like five dollars and then they've got a ton of lip products as well oh my god i've put um press on nails on and i can't do anything <laughs> well like i'm getting used to it these tweezers have become my best friend trying to peel the plastic off this eyeliner it's proving very difficult. So I've got the Kind Eyeliner and this is number five brown. So I'm going to put this like in my tight line. I feel like it just makes such a difference to my lash line and makes them look nice and thick, not so gappy. It's working all right, but I don't know. It's not giving me as much color as I want. Maybe this is the kind of eyeliner that works better, like actually smudged on the eyelid not really in the waterline or anything All right so i've got this baby mascara it's got a pretty basic wand on it this one i could only see in black i don't think they had a brown so far the formula is nice it's not too wet and sloppy <laughs> like it's not getting everywhere it's giving me some length but not crazy volume okay a second layer definitely helped that looks pretty good to me and as i said they did have a range of lip products but i picked up the lipstick in the shade bear it all i think i might go in with some lip liner because it does contain is it shea butter or shea butter so it's pretty um like it's got a sheen to it, you know what I mean? This is the Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade Tiramisu. Oh. I'm digging that color, hey. Okay, that is really nice. That's a lot better than I expected. Mm, mm. So this is what it's all looking like. Mm. Okay, first things first, I am loving the glowy look. Like, look at that skin. I'm not very happy with the concealer. Like I said before, I do get some fine lines, but this is like creasing like crazy. Look at this big line here, for example. I don't usually get makeup settling into it that bad. So I don't know if it's the concealer, like being a bit more heavy, or if it's the powder being too light. So I'll definitely try them again, but not together. The foundation has definitely oxidized a little. My face does look a little bit darker than usual, 
but love the coverage, love the glow that it gives. It is starting to sit a little bit funny around my chin here, like it's kind of accentuating my pores. But I also put powder there, so could it be the powder? Because my cheeks look great. I love the glitter. I knew I was going to like that because I've used them before. The mascara, like it's turned out nice, but it did take some layering to get there. Even on the bottom lashes, I had to layer it up a bit. So not sure about that. And like, it's so little. I've used that in like a week. <laughs> the eyeliner, nah, wasn't that impressed. The lipstick, Freaking love it. It feels so comfortable and I really like the shade and the brow gel I definitely want to try it again as I said, but I'm liking the look that it's given overall my favorite products from today were definitely the cream contouring palettes Amazing like I cannot believe how beautifully they blended out. Do you remember when like Cream contouring palettes first come out and I was like, oh my god, so new so wow fresh and they were just shocking. Like they were all warm, they were stiff, like they weren't creamy, they were hard to blend. These were just beautiful. Overall, I think that turned out pretty well for a testing makeup video. I've definitely had a lot worse ones, <laughs> a lot worse. If you've tried any of these products, I would love to hear your thoughts below, so just leave me a comment. That is all from me today. As I said, I will link some more testing Australian drugstore makeup videos down below. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok if you want more content. Otherwise, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.